perfect. The anger, that horror, the guts, like you know, he wants it. Like, come and get me, I'm fucking afraid of you. That, that's why I do that. I'll do anything to save my family, anything, anything, anything. I'm that guy. My name's Phil Sianitama. It's short for Philly Seneca, it's a Nguyen name. My father's Nguyen in Papua New Guinea, and my mum's from Austria. Growing up in New Zealand with long hair, hair cutting is a tradition in the Nguyen culture. In that culture, growing up as a young kid is, is a very hard life. It's not accepted, and it wasn't accepted, especially by teachers and some of your friends. Another kid, every day they keep pulling my hair. I complain to the teacher, and the teacher says to me, you should be wearing a dress. I'm like six, seven years old. I'm getting really, really angry. So I'm crying, going home. So I go home, tell my dad, and my dad goes, I'm sick and tired of you coming home crying. You come back home, I smash your face, you got it. I said, yes, dad. So the next day I went there back to school, and I beat every single one up. You're brought up in an environment where you do something wrong, you get a hiding. So when your dad hits you with all sorts of things, and just fight, fight, fight. You're not accepted for being European. I mean, you're not accepted for being Pacific Islander. When they looked down on me, I always thought about my parents. And they just gave me more fire. And they called me white, and I think about my mum. So I'd give it to them. I didn't care who's around me, and I'll just beat the shit out of them. And then when they call me um, coconut because of my dad, I think about my dad, and I'm gonna smash all those guys because I'm thinking, what did my parents do to you? But that's, that was me. So me and my sister, she was the darkest one out of the family. When she passed away at 29 of a heart attack, uh, I was upset. So I took it out on the world, and literally I took it out on everybody. So anyone that crossed me, I dealt to them. The only way I knew how was, was to fight. My wife said, you gotta stop using your hands as your, as your answer to everything. You need to start using your mouth. That's why, but these guys are racist. They're just racist, all of them. I was in a different mindset. That's all I knew how. I didn't know how to talk. Like my mates, my mates would talk, stop doing it, and I'm like, what? And I'm like, fuck you, and I'll be like. But that's all I knew, because if I go home, my dad's gonna give me a hiding, because <clears throat> I let this kid do this to me. My dad, how he was brought up was, it's the exact same way I was. Being hit all the time, that's the only way he knew him. But by the time we got to um, college, then I think he realised that's not the way, so he had changed. But I, it was too late for me because that's all I knew. And I think that's why sometimes I'm, um, I'm aggressive. More than my brothers and sisters are, because they didn't get what I got. Yeah, that's another story, because yeah. That's a, that's a long story, man. That's a long story. Art. When I'm angry, I can't draw because I'm too upset. But when I do draw something about something I didn't like, I'll draw um, the opposite. So we go to church, 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 God, God, God. So I'll draw the opposite. I'll draw the devil. I'll draw demons. I'll draw demons killing angels. And when I'm feeling good, I'll draw one angel. And that'll be for my mum. Nothing else. He was still alive at the time when I drew this. Yeah, he's gone now. 
It's the only guy to name himself after my island, The Rock. Anyway, his name is The Rock of Polynesia. Here comes Dwayne Johnson and calls himself The Rock. So honoured. <laughs> you try drawing the small and make yourself happy. <laughs> That's tiny. A um, couple of hours to draw that. When I look at them now, and how much time did I have to draw on these little things? Someone asked me, why did I draw this guy? The reason why I drew him was because he's a part of history. I know, he, I know he's a mass murderer, but he's a part of history. Here's my water painting drawing. Okay, so this is water paper, but I didn't have water paints at the time, so I just drew on it. Transformers. This is when it was on Netflix. This is pretty cool. There's dead parents in the background. Guts again. I like the mango style. I like that. This guy is the first time I used watercolor markers. Another guy asked if I could draw some transformers, so I drew these. Asked if he could have it. I said, piss off. <laughs> I think I'm doing it. Drawing on YouTube. I think that's more fun than being a comic book artist. Because comic book artists have demands. Me, as a YouTuber, I can take as long as I want. When I feel like drawing, I can do it. There's no demand. But um, when I draw something, I'm feeling something when I draw it. I just love to draw. I love to see it on YouTube. I love to see that's my stuff. And I, I told my kids, when I'm gone, if I have nothing to pass on to you, you can go on YouTube and you can hear my voice, you can see my joy and go, that's my dad. That's your granddad, that's your great great granddad. They'll be always forever there. When I put my art on YouTube, I know these people out there so they are gonna say, you traced it, you copied it, it's a bought picture. You're not that great, you're not good enough. They're the people who's got low self-esteem. When people say that kind of stuff, they're unhappy with themselves because they wish they could do that. I never boast, hey, I'm better than you. I always encourage, you can draw this. Art is not a skill that can be taught. You either have or you don't, but I can show you how to draw something if you wish. Even though people say, oh, yours is stink, this one's better. It's not either, either. Because that person who hasn't even attempted to draw it, that's the person who didn't draw it. They're the ones who can't do. They're the ones with the can't do attitude. People with can do attitude, they give everything a go, they'll try it. They may look silly in the door, blah, 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 but they did it. There's no hurry. Take your time. I mean, I was scared to do it. My first stuff I put on YouTube was video game playing, not me drawing. And then when I got the courage to actually do it, I put it up there, but I had no voiceovers. I did no talking. I just drew it. And then I got, fuck, I want people to know it's me. I wanted my mates to know it, but I didn't care about the rest of the world. So I did the voiceovers. Now I'm doing this um, anime thing where it's me talking, but it's not my actual face, which is good enough for me. If you're too scared to put your stuff out there, you do it when you're ready. You don't just cross the road just because the light is green and you gotta wait for the cars to stop before you cross the road. Yeah, so when you're ready, you just go and do it. Don't worry about anybody else. Ha 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 ha!